Well, hi there, my name is Bill. Thought I'd post a video on the site to go through a few of my side effects. Uh, pretty new to chemotherapy. And, uh, and the one thing I've learned is people have been on this for quite a long time and uh, everybody's treatment's different. So I'm a bit of a novice, but I thought it might help people like myself just starting chemotherapy to, uh, to see what side effects I've had. Uh, the little introduction before the video explains my situation. Uh, I had my first session of chemotherapy on the 2nd of May. All went pretty well. Obviously, nothing in my body uh, till this first se session. Uh, I had a two-hour infusion. Got chatting to a lot of people. It was amazing on all the different treatments everybody was having. Uh, it's quite awe-inspiring, really. Uh, mine, as I said, just lasted two hours and I was given tablets as in the description to the video and off I went. Well, first thing I noticed immediately was the pins and needles type sensation that you get with electric shocks in your hands, around your mouth. Uh, and although it wasn't severe, it, it was, <laughs> it didn't really want it, but <laughs> it was manageable. Uh, I did find uh, it a bit frightening at first because uh, when I swallowed something, it got down the back of my throat and it did panic me a little bit, but soon wore off. And after about three or four days, it lessened and never went away, but it was okay. Uh, I was fine apart from that, really. Uh, and then at day four, five, I got really bad nausea. So uh, I had to stay in bed basically because I was just so sick. Not vomiting, but nauseous. Uh, managed to bring this in contro under control with some uh, medication from the oncology people. And after about three or four days, it went. So that was good. The only other real thing I noticed was it affected my voice after about day eight, it became very gruff. And uh, apparently this is again a side effect of the chemotherapy. Uh, that went after about four days. So all in all, a positive experience for the first session. Uh, and I was looking forward very much to the second session because the one thing it did do, and this is the best side effect, with my cancer, I was able to eat half a sandwich in a sitting. I managed to maintain my weight by eating over six, seven times a day. Uh, and I managed to keep my weight up, but it was very difficult and it was a bit uh, soul destroying not being able to eat much. Some days better than others, but Almost immediately after the chemotherapy, I could eat a full breakfast. I mean, a fried English breakfast. Uh, went went to uh, to Burger King and got a Whopper and fries. Uh, and I've been eating fine ever since. Uh, so that was the effects of the first session. I was quite hopeful when I went into the second session that the effects, naively, I thought the effects won't be much worse. Well, I hadn't really thought about it, had I? Because my body's still got chemotherapy in it from the first infusion, and I've been taking these tablets for 21 days. Uh, so the second uh, session, the side effects were a lot worse. Uh, it didn't help that the session was brought forward by four days because the admin needed to do the blood tests, see the consultant before she authorised the treatment, then the treatment. So it was changed from a, a Tuesday to a treatment on Fridays. So I have the blood test Tuesday, consultation Thursday, if it's approved, the, the chemo Friday. So if I turn on Friday, full of confidence, not having really thought about it. Uh, wow, what a difference. Uh, during the infusion, my voice went straight away. A uh, bit more tingly sensation bit more painful in the arm that the infusion was going in. I didn't think too much of it till I stood up. I was very dizzy. Uh, I don't know whether this is because chemo lowers blood pressure and it was low blood pressure making me dizzy. I don't know, but I was a bit unsteady on my feet. But uh, I needed to get out, so off I went. You know, I had a few rests and thing, got picked up by my wife. And the things I did notice also almost immediately that... Uh, the side effects included this time car, uh, tightening of the calf. So my calves were very, very, very tight straight away. 
Uh, as I say, the dizziness, the pins and needles was worse. Uh, all around my mouth, the moist areas, my nostrils, my mouth, even the warm wind on it was really making it tingle. It wasn't very pleasant. Uh, I also had shaking, trying to hold something. Uh, a chemo mouth, so it made it difficult to drink. Everything I drank, drank tasted like creamy. Well, a bit like a cream soda, but not as nice. And it's very difficult to keep up the amount of uh, the amount of liquids I needed to do. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep on top of it. Uh, one of the funny side effects was I was watching an emotional documentary on TV, and I had t tears started to well up in my eyes, and my tear tear ducts went really painful. And I'm assuming it's the moisture in the tear ducts activating something, some irritation in them. So yeah, uh, still get even now some jaw ache at the side of the jaws here when I first start chew or swallow, but that, that goes after a couple of chews. So I'm on day three after the first, oh sorry, the second session. Uh, I haven't come across the nausea yet. Uh, my specialist decided to uh, wean me off the steroids they give you straight after chemo. So instead of taking the full doses on day one, two and three. Uh, she weaned me off them, so full dose day one, full dose day two, half dose day three and a quarter dose day four. So hopefully that will help with the nausea, but if it doesn't, I've got the same tablets I had last time, which helped me. So that's my experience with chemotherapy. I know everybody's is not as positive as mine. Uh, wish you all the best for the future. Uh, I'm going to enjoy what life I've got left and that's the way I look at it. So I hope to give you some more updates if there's anything of interest or if there's any more side effects. Uh, as I say, good luck, keep safe. Bye.